Well, Monday afternoon after the race, uh, Dennis Connor sat down with our resident sailing expert, Dave Scott. He's also the KUSI meteorologist, or at least one of them, to discuss Team Oracle's America's Cup loss. Again, so Spit Hill, he went out of the boundaries, he got over the line early, he committed several fouls, he just uh, didn't have the best series he's ever had, and he's paying for it with a, with a lot. The Kiwis have seemed to have a better team. Did they uh, also have a better boat as far as design goes? They had some technology. The boats are all the same under the rules that we have now. All the hulls are the same. So they all came out of the same mold and the same with the uh, spar with that hard wing. The differences are in the appendages, the part that goes down in the water mm -hmm. with the curve on it, like the uh, fins on the end of a 747. So that's where the speed all is in controlling them up and down and the appendages and they can control it hydraulically. And the, so they, the other difference is the crew. Well, the crew on the New Zealand boat, they, they have to keep the hydraulic power up with their legs. And the other crew trying to keep the hydraulic power up with their arms. Like the traditional way. Which, well, which is tougher. Which is better. We know legs are a lot stronger and a lot <laughs> more power. So the Kiwis got the drop on them in a lot of ways. What would you say to a new America's Cup team going forward? Well, first of all, Dave, it's all about the money. You can have the best sailors in the world, but without the boat and equipment, technology, crew, backup, logistics, you can't win. So first comes the money. Once you get the money, then you can get the talent and technology probably equally important to the crew. So the, the kids have to be young, uh, kite sailors or, or uh, board sailors that know how to move their weight and back and forth in the boat and uh, sail these modern boats. But you, you still have to have that people thinking outside the box. You have to have the Boeings and the uh, SAICs and the Airbuses there to make the hardware mm -hmm. for the uh, uh, hydraulics to work and, and the guys uh, controlling the wing back and forth pumping the sail. So it's a whole new America's Cup and it's exciting for old folks like myself. Maybe not quite as interesting. There's not as much real sailing involved, checking the line, tacking on the wind shifts, crew work of 16 guys. You know, they could really sail these boats with only uh, two or three people.